Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to my channel, Evolving One Step at a Time. Welcome to my, I'm not going to call it a messy kitchen. It is a productive kitchen because over there, we are cooking yeast rolls and we got a little production line going hello, on. Hello, yeast. Say hello. Hello. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> so over here, uh, yes, and we are still in our jammies. It's one of those mornings. Well, one of those days we're trying to get things done for Christmas. But I wanted to share with you a quick Aldi and Food Line haul. Um, I actually haven't gone to the grocery store in over a month. I normally go every two weeks. So I did go a little bit over budget, but the way that I look at it is still under budget because I didn't spend any money the last go round other than to get milk. The bulk of these items are for our Christmas activities, but then we also had some things that, once since we haven't been to the grocery store in a month, needed stocking up. So let's just get started. Over here, I have things that are not grocery related. These two are going to come out of the household budget. So we got some parchment paper and some kitchen bags. And then this item right here, it is a three-pack of baby wipes, and that is going to come out of Baby Girl's budget. Back here, we have a ham. They actually had it on special for $0.89 cent a pound, even though it is marked $109, so it was a little over $6. I, uh, my uh, mother-in-law wanted me to pick one up, so that was one of my contributions. We got two things of the white cheddar puffs. Those are a dollar ninety nine. And as you see, Baby Girl has already gotten into one of those. We got two things of restaurant restaurant style tortilla chips. Those are gonna be for our warm spinach dip. Uh, we also got a bag of chips, but they're no longer in the house. They got devoured. <laughs> we got some quick oats. Um, for some oatmeal cookies. Then we got some ramen noodles. That's just the staple in the house. Two containers of the pie crust. I also got two two pound bags of the mozzarella. I don't like to get it at Aldi because for the same amount of money, actually a dollar more, I can get the five pound bag. But this was a sanity saver. I needed to get everything at one place. Then we got several containers of the yogurt here. We also got what they call the moo tubes. A baby girl likes those sometimes in her lunch pail or just for breakfast. And she can eat those by herself very well. These as well, it's just she's a little bit more messy with that. I was able to pick up three containers of the chicken breasts. They were on special this week. Let's see. And they were a dollar and dollar fifty nine cent. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Dollar fifty nine cent a pound and I picked up three large packages of that. Got some yams. They were a dollar that is going over to my mother in law's house. Got some hot dog buns, those were eighty five cents. Got two things of the cocktail sausages that is for Christmas Eve. Also got two containers of the smoked ham. That is also for Christmas Eve. I'm making, um, they're kind of like Swiss and ham sandwiches, but you add brown sugar on top of them and all that kind of stuff. So picked up those. Got two things of ricotta cheese. That is not a normal thing that they have at Aldi, so I wanted to pick up those. If I don't use them within the next week, I'll put those in the freezer. This is from Food Lion, the King Hawaiian buns, because they were out of them at um, Aldi. I like the Aldi rolls, uh, and they're cheaper. However, they were out, and I had to have them for Christmas Eve. Got two things of the Swiss cheese, and that is going to go on the sandwiches with the King's Hawaiian and the ham. Got two containers of the evaporated milk. Also for Christmas, we got some mushroom pasta sauce, and that's $1.19. dollar nineteen. 
We got some pineapple slices for my punch that we're having on Christmas Eve. Two things of dried cranberries. One is, uh, well, part of one is going to go in my cheese ball that I'm making, and some of the other is going in the oatmeal cookies. Also got two things of the macaroni and cheese just to have in the house. Got some Hawaiian punch. That is for the punch we're having for Christmas Eve. And we got three things of ginger ale. Two of them are the regular, and this one right here is cranberry ginger ale. Uh, one to two of them is going to be for the punch. And the other one is just a staple that I like to have in the house. Um, that is the perfect thing for me when I'm feeling a little sick on the stomach. So I like to have one in the house. These I purchased at Food Lion as well because I was able to use a coupon. They were on sale for 99 cents piece, and then I had a dollar off of three. So I was able to get three for two dollars. Got a five pound bag of russet potatoes. Then back here, you'll see that we got a container of the cheese snacks for baby girls' lunches. And then I also got a pack of the Aldi's juice boxes. Those have already been taken apart and put in the container that I have in the refrigerator because baby girl has already attacked them. <laughs> so all together, let's see what damage I did. I went over budget, as I said, um, for the full grocery haul, I spent $106.31, so I went over by $6.31, so I think for not having gone grocery shopping in a month, that was pretty good. I spent $3.69 on um, the wipes for baby girl. And then $8.18 on household goods. So I am very happy, um, happy with the fact that um, stayed very close to budget, have everything that I need for the holidays and some staples, and I am good to go for the next two weeks. If you like this video, don't forget to do a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all guys again soon. Thanks so much for joining me.